this is actually what motivates our research most of the time. We'll look at this uh, upcoming technologies that are out there and the robotics is one of them. And there is a lot of debate going on right now about what's going to happen to our work or our jobs. We will try to find a case where you can actually look at what happens when the technology is used in everyday work in the field. Because there is not so many cases like that, there is very little knowledge that we have right now. And we were fortunate enough that we found one case of a surgical team. We went in and we, we really wanted to trace in micro detail what do people do and how they work and how do they organize around the robot, around the machine. Multiple technologies are there to extend our bodily capabilities. Like if you drive, you know, drive a car, for example, it extends the, the limitation of our human body to transport itself at a distance. So in a sense, the robotic tool that the surgeons used got rid of many limitations that the body had. Because the tool is extending your body capabilities, there is less need for using some senses and more need to use the other ones. So one of the central skills that surgeons have is relying on their fingers to feel where they are in the operating area. The robotic console provided them with fantastic visualizations of the operating area. They could see depth, they could feel, sometimes say that they're floating or they're swimming in the patient's body, which at the same time, they didn't have the haptic feedback anymore. So they couldn't feel anything in their fingers, whether the tissue was soft or hard, they had to retrain and uh, handle the anatomy just relying on their eyes without relying on the sense of touch. On the one hand, they could focus more, they could see more. But on the other hand, they could no longer sort of be in charge of what's going on on the external part of the room. In the traditional setup, you would have a bunch of people, like four or three people, standing around the body of the patient and they are close to each other and they can notice many things without even being aware of it. So the coordination routines, they rely on this very well-rehearsed, tacit understanding of who has to do what depending on how I move, for example, or depending on how I put my hand uh, towards the nurse. That would be a gesture that would say that I need a knife, for example, or if I hold a piece of tissue like that, then my assistant knows I need to cut there. And now once one person goes away and there is a huge machine sort of hanging over um, the patient's body, they realize they cannot see many things like they did before, and they also do not realize how important it was to see those things. And one of the most dramatic consequences was that uh, the responsibilities and the activities of scrub nurses, the people who usually assist the surgeon at the table, were now in this to perform much more significant and much more responsible work in the end. What we usually hear about robotics is automating and losing a job. But in fact, we saw it's more redistributing the expertise in a system of this very knowledge-intensive and high-state high type of work as surgery.